Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. In the video today, we're gonna to touch on Cochrane Alberta's real estate market, how things fared in the month of July, and give you an update here moving into the second half of August, because yes, I'm a couple days late here. I've been taking advantage of a little bit of a slower week here after the long weekend, and I hope you've all been able to do the same. First off, we're gonna to touch on Calgary Alberta's real estate market and get an idea of what the big city is doing and see if Cochrane Alberta is following suit going into the tail end of the summer here. Now, Calgary's real estate market did slow with a little bit of a drop, about 10% in the number of sales in the month of July comparatively to 2023. However, it's still well above the 10-year trend. Now, the big thing to note with Calgary Alberta's real estate market is that there was an increase in inventory. Now, while that number has grown to about 4,100 units, it's still not what we typically see in Calgary for the month of July. However, it is the first time that inventory levels have crested over the 4,000 mark in the last two years. So that'll be a really interesting thing here heading into the fall market in Calgary to see if those increased inventory levels starts to bring a little bit of a cool down or a slowdown to that seller's market that we've been seeing for much of the last two years. But how does that apply to Cochrane, Alberta? Because that's why you're here. So in terms of Cochrane, Alberta, Cochrane did not follow Calgary's lead and Cochrane actually saw an increase in the number of sales in the month of July. Now, when I say increased, what I mean there is that Cochrane sales actually increased by over 15% more sales this month than last year in the same calendar month. Now, what does that mean for inventory levels? While we did see a slight increase as the month went on in inventory levels, we still were down overall compared to last year, with inventories down about 5% over the previous year. So while the big city is seeing a slight slowdown in sales and an increase in inventory, Cochrane is still remaining to be a fast moving market with a little bit of a decrease in inventory. So no, Cochrane did not follow in Calgary, Alberta's footsteps. While Calgary saw that slight drop in sales numbers and that slight increase in inventory, Cochrane has remained to be at the high end of those sales numbers and seeing a very small, small incline in inventory, but it really didn't have a big effect because of the number of sales on its month's inventory. Cochrane's now sitting below Calgary's inventory levels, whereas just a few months ago, Calgary had lower inventory levels than Cochrane did. So while Calgary has slowed slightly and could lead to more balanced market, right now we are still seeing a seller's market in Cochrane, Alberta. Now, in terms of how that's affected the pricing here in Cochrane, Alberta, the overall benchmark rose about 1% over last month and about 9% year over year, bringing its total to about 576000 And now, as we've mentioned before, that total benchmark price does include condominiums and row housing. And condominiums in Cochrane have seen a big jump over the past year with two-bedroom condos last year being around the 250 to 60 mark and this year sitting at about 305. So with that big price increase, that's really affecting the total benchmark price as the low end has been shifted upwards. Now in terms of pricing for detached home, Cochrane again saw about a 9% increase year over year and it is sliding just behind Airdrie who which saw a 10% increase year over year. So as of right now, Cochrane's detached benchmark price is about $678,000, while it is still leading ahead of Airdrie's benchmark price. As we've discussed in previous videos, Airdrie does have a larger number of older homes that do bring that benchmark price down slightly, whereas Cochrane is made up of predominantly, over the past 10 years, newer homes because of the rapid expansion of the town. Now, one of the real interesting things to note about what's happening currently in Cochrane, Alberta, is that for 2024, the number of home sales over that $700,000 mark is drastically higher than last year. Now that's due mainly to the fact that any of those homes in that 670, 680, 690 mark of July of last year likely are now on the market for 710, 715 due to the percentage increase of home values in Cochrane. Now, as we move through the tail end of the summer here and move into the fall market, you know, kids are gonna be back to school, things may slow down listing wise here. And so we could see a really different outlook and almost go back a full calendar year into that August, September, 
October timeframe of 2023, where Cochrane did start to slow down moving into that winter market and prices did start to stagnate a little bit for a few months. However, this year we do have the relaxing of Canada's overnight interest rate and that is affecting mortgage rates and mortgage rates are starting to come down. So is that going to be enough to keep house prices increasing? I'd like to know what your thoughts are. I'd like to know what you think the mortgage rates are going to have in terms of effect on the real estate market. Personally, I think that if we see a substantial drop and the bank rate continues to drop here into the end of 2024 and start of 2025, I don't think we're going to see a real slowdown in prices. We may calm a bit going into the winter, much the same as we did last year. However, I don't see a real slowdown coming due to the fact that interest rates are going to start coming down, which may encourage more buyers who have been a little bit hesitant jumping into the market the last few years and allow them to re-enter that market with uh, better interest rates. So truly, I think the next couple of years could be a really interesting time for the real estate market. And I'm looking forward to going on that journey with you and just seeing what exactly is going to happen here over the course of the next few months. As always, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope some of it was helpful for you. If you have any questions about the Cochrane Alberta real estate market, or you're looking to move to Cochrane in 2024 and 2025, please reach out. I'd love to get on a video call, chat, and see how I can best help you make that a reality. Thanks, and I will see you in the next one.